Hi all, today we are going to discuss a subtopic from the chapter Equilibrium. Indicators that will be beneficial for the preparation for NEET, JE and other competitive UG exams. Indicators. So, first our question comes, what are indicators? Indicators are those substances which change their color to show end point of an acid-base titration. So, what is acid-base titration? It is basically a neutralization reaction between an acid and base. So, what are the types of indicators? Types of indicators. We can say there is acid indicator. And there is basic indicator. Basic indicator. How can you represent an acid indicator? You can represent generally by HIN. Here, IN means indicator. Acid indicators are those indicators which can provide H plus on ionization. And what are uh, basic indicators? Those indicators which can provide OH minus on ionization. And we can generally represent it as in the INOH. Right? Yes. So, an example for uh, acidic indicator. Phenol of 3. We can represent it as HPH. An example for basic indicator, methyl orange. We can represent it as MeOH. Okay. Yes. So, what are the main features of indicators? According to Oswald theory of indicators, we can say that Every indicator is an weak organic acid or base. So, we are now talking about features of indicators. Weak organic acid or base. And every indicator has light color in its unionized form and dark color in ionized form. Light color in unionized form. Dark color in ionized form. Ready? Yes means here we can take some examples. Your uh, acidic indicator uh, phenol 3 HPH dissociate as H plus plus pH minus. This HPH species is basically colorless and pH minus species is basically pink in color. Right? Yes. And what about uh, this methyl orange? In the case of methyl orange, if you are uh, writing the dissociation, there will be like Me plus and OH minus. Right? Okay. Here, Me OH has a yellow color. And Me plus as an orange red color. Right? Okay. And next feature is these indicators have different colors in acidic and basic medium. Basically, they exhibit different colors in basic and acidic medium. By that, they indicate the end point of a titration. Right? Different. 
occur in acidic and basic medium. Right? Okay. So, how this indicator change their uh, color in acidic and basic medium? We are taking an example of uh, phenolphthalein. Example. Okay. Mechanism of indicator. Yes, your phenolphthalein dissociate as H plus plus pH minus. What happens in acidic medium? What happens in acidic medium? In acidic medium, the concentration of H plus is higher. So, what happens? You can apply the common ion effect here. The species H plus is in higher concentration, so the equilibrium will be shifted in the backward direction, and therefore the concentration of HPH will be greater than that of pH minus. And what will be the resultant color? You already know that this HPS is colorless. HPH is uh, colorless, and your pH minus is pink here. Okay, so uh, effectively. No color. Right? Yes. And uh, what happens in basic medium? What happens in basic medium? The concentration of OH minus increases. In the sense, a uh, basic medium contains uh, OH minus. So, what happens? This H plus and OH minus uh, will react and the effective concentration of H plus will get reduced. And according to Ashatia principle, the equilibrium will be shifted to forward direction. And we can say that the concentration of pH minus will be greater than that of HPH. And you already know that this pH minus has a characteristic pink color. So, what is the inference from this uh, example? This phenolphthalein indicator basically shows uh, no color in acidic medium and pink color in basic medium. Right? Okay. So, uh, this first principle is according to common ion effect. Right? Uh, common ion effect. This is based on common ion effect. Common ion effect. And uh, this in basic medium, this will uh, take place according to ore ion effect. Ore ion effect. Right? So, now uh, we are going to discuss about the equation for calculating the pH of an acidic indicator. pH of Acidic indicator means you can consider the general dissociation of an acidic indicator that is HIN dissociate to give H plus plus IN minus. You are going to write the expression for the dissociation constant that is ki is equal to h plus concentration into iin minus concentration divided by hin concentration what will be the equation for h plus h plus is equal to ki into hin in minus by in minus right okay so, we already know that uh, pH is equal to minus log H plus, negative logarithm of H plus ion concentration. So, for calculating pH, we are taking minus 
log on both side of this equation minus log h plus is equal to minus log ki hin by in minus right okay so uh, ph is equal to log ab is log a plus b log a by b is log a uh, minus log b so this will be like uh, here we are taking this as a separate term and this as another term right okay so what happens this will be like uh, minus log ki plus log hin by in minus okay yes so you can write this as ph is equal to um, minus log ki minus log hin by in minus okay so ph is equal to what is minus log ki pki here uh, you can just uh, bring this uh, denominator to numerator so there will be minus you already know that uh, log 1 by a is equal to minus log a so what happens here minus minus of log i n minus by h i right yes so what will be the final equation ph is equal to pki plus log i n minus by h i okay ready so this will be the equation for calculating the ph of an acidic indicator right uh, you can also generally write uh, this uh, equation of pH in another manner that is uh, pH is equal to pKi plus log HIN is the unionized form and IN minus is the ionized form. So log concentration of ionized form by concentration of unionized form. Okay, so uh, this will be the general equation for calculating the uh, pH of the uh, acidic indicator, right? Okay, so moving to the equation for calculating the pH of a basic indicator. pH of a basic indicator. Here your basic indicator IN OH will dissociate as IN plus plus OH minus. You can write the dissociation constant KI as IN plus concentration into OH minus concentration divided by IN OH concentration. Right? Yes. Here you can find the expression for uh, OH minus. What will be the expression for OH minus? KI into IN OH concentration uh, divided by IN plus concentration. Okay. Right. Now, what is the definition of POH? POH is equal to minus log. OH minus concentration. So, what you are going to do is that you are taking this uh, negative logarithm on both sides of the equation. So, minus log OH minus your equation will be like minus log KI into concentration of IN OH by IN plus concentration. So, that will be POH is equal to minus uh, you are taking 
this uh, as the first term and this as the second term. So this will be like log k i plus log i n o h concentration by i n plus concentration. So p o h is equal to minus log k i minus log i n o h by i n plus. means you can write POH is equal to what is minus log Ki? PKI. Okay. Plus uh, you can uh, apply the same thing what we have applied in the case of hazard indicator. Uh, this will become the reciprocal and the minus minus will be uh, become the plus and uh, here uh, log IN plus by INOH. Right. So, uh, this will be the equation for calculating the POH of a basic indicator. We can write this as POH is equal to PKI plus log. IN plus is the ionized form. And INOH is the unionized form. So, this will be the equation for calculating the POH of a basic indicator. POH is equal to PKI plus log ionized form by unionized form. So, if you want to calculate uh, the pH, just uh, apply this uh, equation. pH plus POH is equal to 14. Then your pH will be 14 minus POH. Okay. So, uh, what will be the corresponding equation for pH? Your pH will be 14 minus your uh, expression for pOH that is uh, pKi plus log In plus by uh, INOH. Okay. So, your pH is equal to 14 minus PKI minus log IN plus by INOH. In numerical problems, there is no uh, need to separately apply this equation for the pH. You can find the uh, answer for the POH and uh, from that you can quickly convert it into the uh, value of pH by using the equation pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Right? So, that is all about indicators. I hope this section is uh, clear for you. Follow the YouTube channel of uh, Universal Institute Portal for further updates and stay tuned.